My name is Bontu Werkenet and I attend Jane Long Futures Academy. I was born and I grew up in Ethiopia, Addis Ababa. Um, at the age of six, my father was arrested. Uh, he was taken to a private jail and we didn't get to see my father for about two weeks because they didn't want us to see him. My father was arrested in Ethiopia because um, he is a minority group in Ethiopia, the Oromo region, and he was arrested because he helped out his people and the government thought it was something else, it was to destroy their government system. Um, after my mother looked around and found out where he was, uh, we went to visit him in the jail. When I first saw him, I didn't believe that was my dad. Um, after quite a while, they moved him to a public jail, and he was there for about two years and a half, and they released him. And it was a good day because it was my birthday, and the next day was my birthday celebration. And I woke up to find he was gone again. I asked my mom where he was, and she told me that he was arrested again, and he was in jail. After about three years, he was released from jail, and the next day he flew to Kenya, Nairobi. My mom broke the news the next day and told my, our family that my dad has left the country, and my middle brother and I will be moving there with him after a short time. Um, I had to say my final goodbyes after about a month to my family as well as my friends. And we stayed in Kenya for about six months, then a civil war broke out in Kenya. And seeing people getting killed in front of our house, that I, would, I wouldn't want anyone to see that, even at an older age, that is very hard to see. After staying in Kenya for about a year and a half, um, we got a visa to come to the United States, to Houston, Texas. Um, and we moved here in 2008, and I started fifth grade, and the trouble started coming again. Everything seemed to be going fine. And once I started school, I was bullied because of how I looked, my hair, and the way I spoke English. Um, I didn't want to go to school because I was being bullied every day and told that I'm not worth it, I'm not pretty, and I'm not smart. Um, I remember going to my dad and telling him, this is not America, I don't want this to happen to me. Why do I have to go to school? I just want to go back to my country. And um, my dad told me, you've been through a lot and this is nothing, you could, you could survive. Well, I can relate a lot to Bonsu's background. Um, and I say that because I kind of lived a similar story. Uh, as a child, immigrating from a country and when you're not accepted or you don't feel that you belong there, then you're not able to, to come out and, and, and push yourself to the max in anything, whether it's work, whether it's you know um, in school, or anything that you do, really. And when I see Bantu, I relate to her a lot because I lived that, I experienced that, I've been through that. Once I started middle school at Jane Long, um, things to, started to look better. High school year has been the most amazing time of my life. I've enjoyed every minute and second of it. I have the best teachers in the world as well as the principals. They motivate me every day and they know my story and my background. And they're my motivators. They're my second family I have. When you have an environment like that, kids want to come to school. They want to do something for themselves. That's, that's one of the biggest qualities of Bantu that, that she was able to get away from there, come to this country, and, and she's able to take that opportunity to the next level. When I grow up, I want to be a physician. Um, I want to pursue a pre-med, and I want to open up my own school in Ethiopia as well as a hospital in the village area. Not giving up is what got me all the way here. And just to stay motivated, um, surrounding myself with people who are positive about life, that's what got me through. And I'm in the best position I am right now.